Looms for hand-weaving cloth have become increasingly sophisticated over time, but the basic concept still remains the same. Weaving horizontal threads, called weft threads, through vertical threads, called warp threads, to create the patterns in the cloth. The loom lifts selected warp threads, the weaver passes the weft thread between the warp threads, then uses a beater to pack the weft tightly. They construct the loom's frame out of ash, which is strong enough to withstand the pulling of up to thousands of threads. Workers submerge the frame pieces in mineral oil to prevent the wood from drying out. They assemble the frame pieces with heavy-duty nuts and bolts, then mount high-strength plastic brackets for attaching the various components, such as the cloth beam, that grabs and moves the finished cloth. They wrap sandpaper around the beam's adhesive surface to grab the cloth without damaging it. Elsewhere, workers make the looms cables out of high-strength stainless steel. These cables maneuver harnesses that lift and lower the warp threads. After cutting each cable to length, she forms a loop through a cable crimp. Then she locks the loop with this heavy-duty crimping tool. On one of the frame pieces, they mount a metal plate bearing the loom's model and serial number. They assemble the pulley system on which the harness cables run. They thread the plastic pulleys onto a steel axle and position the axle with steel discs called stop collars. A spring lever helps each harness lift its respective warp thread. After hammering a pin into each lever, they hook a wire to the pin. Then squeeze the wire closed so that it can't unhook. They attach a chain to an eyelet on one side of the spring lever. Shortening or lengthening this chain adjusts the tension of the harness. Like the pulleys, the spring levers go onto an axle across the loom's frame. Another loom component, called the warp beam, has holes which hold metal hoops that guide the warp threads. A brake drum on the side provides counterforce to keep the threads taut. At the front of the loom, they install foot pedals, called treadles. The weaver uses them to lift and lower the warp threads. Next comes the beater, which the weaver uses to pack the weft thread into the fabric. The pulley system for the harness cables goes on top. This computer-controlled device, called a dobby head, lifts and lowers the warp threads according to the programmed weaving pattern. Each harness cable hooks onto the dobby head, goes around one of the pulleys, and attaches to a hook on the harness. The factory checks every dobby head on a test loom to ensure the device outputs the programmed patterns correctly. Next, workers install the spring levers that help the harnesses lift the warp threads. Each lever hooks onto a spring, which attaches to a chain, which connects to a harness. They install the warp beam at the back of the loom. The weaver installs the hoops and warp threads on the warp beam. As the loom weaves, the cloth beam gently moves the emerging fabric forward. The weft thread is wrapped around a bobbin called a shuttle. This pattern requires a two-weft thread technique that uses a second shuttle suspended in front of the weaver. The loom keeps the threads evenly taut, producing a consistent and uniform weave.
the hallmarks of a beautiful, quality cloth.